this is Erica Glessing, and I just want to ask you one question right now. What lie did you believe? What lie were you told that you held inside you? Because today we're going to forgive ages 10 to age 20. And so many of us were lied to during this time in our life. And it was just maybe in an instant that you shut off from your absolute excellence and your absolute potential and what is really phenomenal inside of you. And this happens so often in these years of 11, 12, 13 as you're getting a physical body, you know, that's different from a child body. And as you step into your teens and you're 17 and you're 18 and you're really exploring and expanding and you want to figure it out and there's just so many lies that we're told. And we're, we're told lies by teachers who didn't do what they wanted to do so they figure you can't. We're told lies by parents constantly because no one can see the whole world. Everyone can only see what's in front of them. No one can tell you the whole truth. It's almost impossible. So if you look at what lie you believed, and I just want you to kind of start stepping into the core of the essence of you, of those instances when you glimpsed your own fabulous potential, and reconnect with that part of you, that fire that you had for something. And I just want to ask you to be aware that people have lied to you, and that you can now shift that out and let go of those lies. And I'll join you in that. And today we're going to forgive ages 10 to age 20, so just relax. I'm going to take you just kind of quietly through, and then I have an audio recording that actually puts you into a meditative state, which is a good state to go in because a lot of these memories are so deep down inside you that you can't get to when you're in a conscious state. So I recommend that you listen to the audio recording for this week. But I'm just going to kind of walk you through it through the video because you've been with me so far on video and we're having so much fun. Uh, I'm at the beach in Half Moon Bay and I'm really happy to be here today. I'm happy to be sharing this with you today and I hope something shows up for you that you can forgive. So we're going to start with around age 11 or 12, age 13 and just kind of float over that time in your life if you can and look at what happened between ages sort of 10 and 13 that you could let go of and think about that. And then look at 13, 14, 15, um, maybe you had a first date or a first kiss. You started thinking about careers or maybe you started thinking about your talents. And just kind of let go of any lies, let go of anyone that held you back, let go of any negativity that you could find in that space while you were a teen. And go on up to the ages 18, 19, 20. These were years when, when full expansion was possible and just kind of forgive anyone that held you back, any constraints that showed up, forgive any poverty that you experienced. In this space of 10 to 20, you made a lot of choices, you made some decisions, and send that, that 10 to 20 year old person, that person that made some of those decisions a hug, send them a warm embrace for knowing they did the best they could with what they knew. Some of you may have made a choice about college or university, not going or going or choosing one that was very shaped by controlling people in your life. And you can let go of that right now. Just let go and trust that whatever showed up did and forgive everything, 10 to 20. That's our assignment. It's pretty exciting. And I hope that you're just getting so much out of this process. I do, every single time I teach this, I've taught this for six years now. I just love helping people shift out and let go of the lies and the crap that they held on their backs. And it's just such a good feeling. You know, it kind of makes me think of some of the beach, of barnacles sitting on a rock. And the rock can't really be its perfect self when it's all covered in barnacles. And so, but they hold on really tight. And so I'm just kind of encouraging you right now to do what you can to let go of some of that crap. And I'm so thankful that you're gonna join me next week because next week, Oh my gosh, next week we take on the unforgivable people, acts, situations, parents, the big, deep, deep wounds. Next week is really important. So get through this week, have an enjoyable week. If you can, listen to the audio. Take some notes in your journal and just stand in this place of love, stand in this place of forgiveness. It's a great place and I'm so thankful that you're here with me.